All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you haven't already. You're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for season one of uh, HBO Max and uh, Cinemax show called Warrior. First episode appeared in 2019. So far as of right now of this review, there are three to four episodes of season three that have premiered. So, so far there are two and a half seasons. Here's the plot. In the 19th century, during brutal gang wars in San Francisco, Chinatown, martial arts prodigy Ash Shazam, a Chinese immigrant who arrives in the city of the lights under mysterious circumstances, once he proves his himself as a fighter, he becomes a hitman for one of the Chinatown's most popular organized crime families. Warrior is based on the writings of the late martial arts legend Bruce Lee. Now here's the cast. So you got the Chinese gangs with Chinese brothels, then you got your big burly Irish thugs, and your big burly white cops, then you throw in a southern cop for good measure. All wrapped up in race wars and politics, and there is a lot, a lot of race, uh, racist stuff in here towards specifically the the history in America of the immigration of Chinese versus the Irish, white Irish, and all that stuff, you know. Um, ten, ten episodes each filled with nudity, adult acts, and of course plenty of martial arts with acts and knives. I honestly didn't get into the show till about the three epi third episode, but it definitely picks up and gets more intense as the main story goes on. Such a great cast of, and writing of the characters. Definitely feel strongly for lots of the characters because of it. Definitely I would have to say the best story arc this season was uh, Sergeant Bill, even though I prefer his partner over him. Now, normally they make the main rich woman dumb and spoiled. Instead, she was smart and made a lot of good arguments and having the her own great story arc as well i actually i actually surprised they had such a filler episode and there was only one uh in here though uh but i did love how fun and different it was from the main story the series definitely has the feel and old of the old martial arts bruce lee films while not getting too corny like they were back then now I will say that some of the kills were a little bit overdone, so they kind of get kind of Tornatino kind of look to them, where they were overdone. But I think for the most part, like 99% of the film of the series, it was it was good. Everything was good. Now here's my reading. I'll come back to my final thoughts. So far, only did the first season, and I will be doing the second seasons later down the road. I hope we get lots more of Leary, I believe his name is, the huge Irish man leader, and hope we get more of uh, fight scenes between him and Asham uh, in the second season. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Uh, I won't be having something out till Sunday, um, and it will be Guardians of Galaxy 3, and then at some point, it won't be next week, but at some point I'll get to the second season of this. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'll do a review. I kind of want to do a review of each season on this one because this was really good. And I definitely, again, I don't know if I'm going to do a review on the second season because I kind of really want to watch the second season now. But I don't have time this weekend. So, because um, it's going to take more. It took more than uh, a, a day so um as i started last night like five episodes down and then went to bed so um but yeah uh, so hit your bell icon so you'll know when i do the guardians of galaxy 3 uh review and uh, i'm very excited for that personally um but uh yeah i love you all please stay safe and skull